guys, just real quick, I gotta apologize. I got all the way done with this video and I hit uh, upload and then I had to cancel it because I suddenly realized that I'd recorded all of my commentary with the wrong microphone selected. And for that, I apologize, but unfortunately, I have to jet. I don't have time to re-record. So hopefully that's okay, guys. I apologize again for the weird quality on the mic, but hopefully uh, the video is still okay for you guys. I'll catch you later. What is going on, Guardians, and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the new snipers that are unique to the Rise of Iron, starting with the Devil's Dawn. Uh, this is the one that everyone gets this same roll when they get it out of the chest with the uh, Quick Draw and the Firefly Battle Recovery. Very, very nice with Life Support, whatever it's called. Uh, and then the other one I want to take a look at is the But Not Forgotten, and this one comes from the Archon's Forge. And uh, I really like this sniper rifle. The uh, only thing that I would change, you know, I really I want to get back into the forge and keep farming so that I can maybe get one with quick draw. I know it can drop with quick draw. And this is, is a very interesting sniper, uh, both aesthetically and statistically, because the impact is actually higher than that of your LDR uh, sort of archetype. But at the same time, it's lower than that of the effort eats, than the, uh, the Dawn. So here, just showing you a little bit of the, the Dawn gameplay. Now this scope, which is a little bit unique, now notice that notice the uh, impact there. Like all I had to do was just put one bullet into the guy because it does so much freaking damage. And also, being able to one hit kill supers like that, full health sun singer, mid super. But uh, anyways, this scope is interesting. Oh, check out that cheeky little collateral. Because it looks very unique. There are no other ones like it in the game in terms of aesthetically what it looks like. But it is the same zoom value as a short gaze. Now look at that, I love how you can just deal with these rushing shotgunners. Oh crap, I got a body shot. Well you know what, all you have to do is tickle them. Look at this health. It's like easy peasy lemon squeezy. So those are sort of the pluses. Look at this, you get collaterals for days and the firefly. Uh, if you see that time it was, I over penetrated, I got the headshot, but then the second bullet went through the body. But the firefly damage from the, the guy that the bullet hit first uh, ended up finishing off the guy that I body shot through the guy's head, if that makes sense, you follow that. So it's it's nice to have firefly and uh, just ridiculous amounts of body shot damage. So snipers are in a strange place right now. Uh, the flinch and all that business, the how slowly they scope in relative to year one, all that business. So uh, it's nice to sort of have these pluses it's sort of everything you want on a sniper rifle, um, you know, and it's available to everybody. That's why I like this because, you know, one of the biggest strengths does a butt ton of damage. Another big strength has, um, you know, battle recovery, which is nice for when you get kills and you need to switch to another target. Um, you know, it's going to potentially heal you completely. It also has quick draw on it, which is top notch. It also has a scope that is the lowest zoom value possible. So all of these things make it both accessible to everybody and potentially top tier. So I recommend everyone get their hands on this sniper rifle. Definitely if you get a skeleton key and you don't have this uh, rifle yet, go ahead and use your skeleton key on uh, Sepix Prime, the new Sepix uh, strike, and get yourself, that's where at least where I got, I think, I mean, don't quote me on this, I think you can get it on um, the other SIVA strikes as well, like the, um, Oh, what's it? I don't even know the name of the strike, but the one that was the Nightfall, where you got the guy gets the ogre, right? Um, rips the ogre's eye out and uses it as a gun, right? That one. Now here is the but not forgotten. Uh, aesthetically, man, this gun is so freaking cool, and I love, absolutely love the scope. When you're scoped in, I love the, um, you know, it's just very, very crisp. That I, I, I I'm a huge fan of. In terms of things I don't like, it feels really sluggish um, compared to the other snipers that I use. I, I don't know if that's just the way the gun is or if it's just because I don't have quick draw. But I, yes, I don't have quick draw on this one, but um, I feel like that would potentially help if I did get one with quick draw or snapshot, help sort of compensate for that. Now, um, I, this, I don't know the exact zoom value. I'm not gonna like lie to you. I'm, I'm not sure what the exact zoom value is on this thing. I'm not sure how it stacks up compared to a short gaze or something like that, but it, it's not a super long zoom, I can tell you that. Um, it's, it's not incredibly long. So I do like the, the sight on it. I just really wish that it wasn't as slow and sluggish as it is. Now note that the, the impact value on this thing is pretty high. It's not effort eats high, but it is higher than an LDR just slightly, a long boasted assist, that sort of thing. 
So it, I have been told that it can one-shot some supers out of their roaming supers. I've been told Blade Dancers will drop to this thing. Now, in all the time I've used it in the Crucible, I've not had the opportunity to uh, get a headshot on a Blade Dancer. So I'll keep you posted. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, put a comment or something in the description of this video if I do get to test that out. But I have not tested that out yet. I haven't gone into private matches. But I have been told it can do that. So it does, uh, I think, 160 to the body. So it hits really hard. It's, it's nice to have that. But uh, if I were to pick one of the two of these just to fall off the log and say, if I had to only use one of these for the rest of my life, I think it would be the Devil's Dawn. Um, now that may change if I get myself a God roll, but not forgotten, which I would like to get. But the, that's up to RNG as opposed to this gun. This one is just easy peasy. You, you go, you open a chest, you get it. You get the great roll. And uh, that's one of the things that you know we've been big proponents of and that we've talked about to... Um, you know, in all of our feedback to Bungie so far, we need to have, you know, really, really good weapons that are accessible to everybody so people aren't alienated when they want to get into competitive, you know, some of the more competitive environments. For some people that means trials, for other people that means sweats and competitions. But we need the, uh, stuff that is accessible. So, I like how zippy the Devil's Dawn is as well. It seems like a pretty quick uh, handling weapon. So I recommend, guys, uh, definitely go get your hands on one of these. It's easily um, attained, and that's one of the big pluses. The But Not Forgotten is up to RNG. You may run uh, Archon Ford. I ran Archon Ford probably 20 times before I got it to drop. I had, I had two of the fusion rifles drop before that, and uh, you know a lot of the armor. I got the hood and a bunch of bonds, and I love the helmet from Archon Ford. It looks so cool so cool but the, the hadron gale stuff I, I, that armor i really like from Archon Forge. i've had a number of the pieces like chest pieces well but um i'm gonna go back in there and try and get myself a better but not forgotten and maybe amend uh, my thoughts on it so hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay and some of my initial thoughts on these guns guys let me know uh what you have if you've got these guns as well and what your experience is so thanks for stopping by guys i'll catch you in the crucible